to a new vlog. Now, this is a new vlog that you're seeing, but in just a little bit, once I'm done with this clip, you will actually be seeing old footage, which we'll talk about in just a second. But first of all, it is Wednesday right now, March 13th. I'm looking at my computer screen to tell me the date, and it is exactly 7 a.m. right now. I just got to my classroom with a giant iced coffee from McDonald's, which I'm feeling pretty good about. This has been the craziest couple of weeks, but like in the best possible way. This Friday, I am leaving for Miami, which I'm so excited about. I am going to the Impact Driven Teaching Conference, and I am going to meet so many of my friends who make YouTube videos, who I've been friends with and like text with, or like chat with on Instagram or whatever, and I'm actually gonna get to meet them in person. It's literally like all of the teacher YouTubers that I watch are going which is amazing. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I'm gonna meet Michelle from Pocketful of Primary, and I'm gonna get to meet Fernanda from um, The One Happy Classroom, and I'm going to meet Maylene from Miss Calls Camper, who I'm obsessed with, and like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. And so many other people who are just amazing. So I am going to be leaving Friday morning, coming back Sunday night, and I'm, I like, there aren't even words to express how excited I am, you guys. And Chris is coming too, so that'll be so nice because I have a travel buddy and he's just gonna lay by the beach when I am at my conference and it is going to be so much fun and I'm so excited to vlog and share all of my experiences with you guys because it is just gonna be a crazy life. But in preparation for that, I also have parent-teacher conferences until 8 p.m. on Thursday night, tomorrow night. And then I fly out at 5 a.m. on Friday. <laughs> so. It has been a whirlwind of a week. I also had to prep for my sub on Friday, and I had a sub yesterday afternoon because I had a meeting I had to go to, and then after school I went and got my hair done. I don't know if you can tell, but it is considerably lighter. I just added more balayage, and I like moved it up because my balayage didn't start until my chin, and now it starts like right up here with this little piece. So anyways, it is quite a bit lighter. I don't know how much you can tell, and then I have been using my Loving Tan Tanner to try to get my skin looking a little bit uh, less pasty white. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, there have been so many different preparation things for conferences and then I have grades due next week and I'm trying to have all of next week planned before I leave, which I'm really, really close to. Uh, but it's just been so crazy busy, but like really, really good because I am going to go to Miami and I'm so excited. So life is really, really good right now. And anyways, I did film a vlog last week, but I went and I edited it, edited it. I edited it, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. And I didn't really like it, to be honest with you. Like, I only filmed a few clips, and I didn't really like how they went together, and I just felt like I seemed so frazzled in the video, which, like, granted, I was a little frazzled trying to get my life together. Um, but, yeah, I just didn't like the footage. So I'm not going to show you guys that because I just don't like it. Um, but what I am going to show you is some footage that you haven't seen before that's from previous weeks because I always do this thing where I film all week and then I never edit it or upload it. Um, sometimes I do edit it and then I never upload it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to show you at least a couple clips um, that I filmed that I think you might enjoy and I'll try to put at the bottom like what date it was from. But I thought that would kind of be a fun thing for this video for you to see some never before seen footage um, from just classroom related things. Also, I will show you around my classroom right now a couple things that you haven't seen yet. So I just got this awesome little book rack thing. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, one of the teachers in my building was getting rid of this and I've been wanting one of these so badly. It's like those, one of those little spinny ones. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited about this. I think it's so neat. I seriously just love this. So I got that and added that to my classroom. I honestly don't like love the spot because it kind of like blocks my desk area, but I never sit at my desk when the kids are here anyways. And it's like kind of close to my classroom library. So I don't know, it works, it's totally fine. And then over here, I can't remember if I showed the actual hamster cage, but basically for March's reading month, we're doing the Humphrey series, one school, one book, with the one school, one book being spring according to Humphrey. And then each classroom got this little hamster stuffed animal that we got to name and make a cage for. I actually already had this cage like from my childhood and then we named our hamster Lil Fluff. So how stinking cute, right? 
I know. And we earned the betting by reading 500 minutes collectively as a class, and so that was fun. And there have just been lots of fun things going on. I did get my new student, which I talked about in my last vlog, and she is absolutely lovely. So that has been super fun. And everything classroom related has just been going so well lately. Like I feel like my kids are doing really well. My kids are, I don't know, they're just awesome. I'm really blessed with a great group of kids, so I love that. And I am going to be busy, busy, busy today. I think I'm gonna stay here pretty late tonight because I have to prep for conferences tomorrow. I'm pretty much done, but there are a couple things I wanna like get together so that I can show the parents like their last test and stuff like that. So anyways, I better let you guys go, but um, I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog with like previous footage and I hope you guys are excited to see my upcoming vlogs in Miami with some of my YouTuber friends. Um, yeah, I'm pumped. I like can't even wrap my head around how this is real life like how hello friends so it's already almost four o'clock and I'm here in Melissa's classroom because she already told you that you're gonna get to see it today so Melissa let's pretend we're in cribs I'll knock on the door oh okay this is gonna be fun okay, okay. we're gonna like make this a whole experience oh be sure to show right, the ready. door oh my gosh yeah the door is the best part <laughs> good time. isn't that so cute and then above the door love that okay Let's see if she's here. Hey MTV, <laughs> welcome to my crib. Um, okay, well when you come in, on the right, we've got some bathrooms. Not up to code. Not but up to code, so they will be going away. Yeah, the look at these little outfit. closets. Um, but we've got mailboxes. Love that. Um, okay, over here, we've got community supplies slash extra books that do not yet have a home because we have too many books for our shelves, which is a good problem. That is a really good problem. Um, got our back room over here. Got the classroom library. Some of it, part yeah. one. These are all um, pretty much chapter books and they're by series. So each that. book it has its own series. Um, got our display shelf going. These little crates are from Walmart. These are the ones that I have in my room too, and they're perfect for books. So we're gonna try to find some more today. Yep. Um, got some more. These are like more of the picture book series. Love it with your so, reading buddies. Yep. Very full book return basket. Um, then we've got the word ball over here with our like curriculum vocab and my old college futon. I've which, slept on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's doing well. Um, and a little, you know, coffee table kind of deal. Um, over here, I have our little dojo monsters just as part of my behavior thing. And then I have some leveled books over here. So I kind of have the kids pick a few that are in their level and then some that are all over the place. So they pretty much you know, choose what they like. But this is an okay way to organize them because I have so many. Um, over here we have our little math area. So we've got vocab uh, and like manipulatives, pretty much all that. Oh my stuff. gosh, look at all those. Amazing. Um, got headphones over here, which is nice. Love that. Um, this is just kind of like my math talk sentence stems for the kids to use. Um, then I got my little teacher table. And these are just our little resolutions for the new year. Got some more storage back there that's like English manipulatives and like English lit, what are you reading? Yeah, that's I don't fine. know, word work, you know what I mean. <laughs> English language arts. <laughs> and then got book boxes, storage, windows, more books. This is more of the nonfiction stuff, but it's not all of it. Um, got my big reading focus wall, got these fun spinny chairs that the kids love, that Ooh. my husband makes at his work, um, got some more ELA terms and writing, a writing process, got my teacher area and my little cart, and our carpet spots that are kind of sad now, but you know, have to get some better ones. Where did you get these from so we know not to get these ones? They were on Amazon. I want to say, I want to say teacher created resources. Okay. I want to say. Like no was, shade, but like don't no buy those. No shade. They <laughs> did work really well. Honestly, I think if they didn't get vacuumed over, they would yeah. be okay. So like, 
you know, use your judgment. Oh, and then we've got the schedule over here. That was the last day we were in <laughs> that was school. That a very unfortunate day with a big test block. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Um, yeah, got the learning targets. Got the alphabet up there behind the screen. Got my messy desk area. That's okay. That's We've all got one of those. Yeah, so true. Love it. Yeah. Amazing. That's pretty much What's your favorite part of your classroom if you had to choose? Um, if I had to choose, mm -hmm. I just really like, I mean, I like the library. Honestly, I just really like, like, when I can look at this corner and, like, all that. Yeah. And there's just lots of color and things to look at. So that's Melissa's classroom. It's adorable. It's very colorful and fun. And she teaches second grade. I can't remember if I said that. I don't think I did. Oh, but if yeah. you're new here, she teaches second grade, like do. two doors down from me. Amazing. Um, she also is taller than me. I like she's like more. Inches. It's very noticeable oh. when we're side by side. I'm like, I know, but remember, right down Kim, here. Kim never believes that I'm six inches taller I know. than her. But I feel like she's not that much taller than me. Here, but like, do you want me? Yeah, if you could. Okay, that is that a little that's better? A lot better. I was stretching oh. a lot. Hey. Room Raiders. <laughs> Can I walk around your classroom and film it? Um, when I'm done cleaning it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So reading graffiti right here. So kids, um, if they find like a really influential or powerful quote from one of their books, they can come up here and write it down. And they really enjoy that. I have like the little pens right here for that. And then you walk into my study room. And I share this with my other grade level teacher. So her stuff is like all on this side and my stuff is mostly on that side. And so I organized this this weekend and it is looking so much better. There were like two huge filing cabinets back here that I never used that were left by previous teachers. And we just got these headphones. Um, my principal just bought these and they were all still in the boxes. And so I took them out and like, I don't know if this is gonna hold up. These are just tension rods from Big Lots. And then honestly, at first they didn't hold up. They just like fell down. So I literally hot glued them, which I'm sure is like, you know, probably not the best idea. And then on this side it's magnets, but then also hot glue. So like hopefully it holds up for at least a little while. But yeah, so I did that and that's our Chromebook cart. Um, we are one to four for Chromebook. So for every one kid, or no, so for every four kids, there's one Chromebook. And then I have my books over here. And I want to get some more of these little crates. These are just from Walmart, but they don't have them at the Walmart near me. So I only get them when I go to, like, the further away Walmart, which Melissa and I did this weekend. So I was able to get some of those for my book club books. But I have um, more books that I just ordered. So I want to get those, like, in here. And then I don't really know about where else I'm going to put them. I guess I could move those textbooks. Honestly, I don't even use them. I do my own thing for social studies, so... I don't really know <laughs> if I could find like a different spot to store those maybe and then yeah this is this area so I'm feeling a lot better about this space it was kind of stressing me out to be honest and now it's just like a lot more open so I really like that well hello are you happy that mama has a snow day no you're not you hate me okay great love that for us Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you can see the future vlogs that come out. Also turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Remember that you are incredibly beautiful and loved and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.